Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 255 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on and then set up your Garmin Forerunner 255. So by the end of this video, if you have a Garmin Forerunner 255 or 255S, you'll have your watch connected to your phone and you'll be able to start using it. All right, so to get started with setting up our Garmin Forerunner 255, the first thing we need to do is simply turn it on. And we can do that by doing a short press of the light button up here in the top left. So just hold that for a second. And then give it a second and it should turn on. As you can see, there's the Garmin emblem. It's a little hard to see right there. And it loads some files. And then the first thing we need to do is select our language. So you can use the up and down buttons over here to go through. Once you find your language, use the start or stop button in the top right to select it. Now in this video, we're going to be setting up our Garmin Forerunner 255 by connecting it to the Garmin Connect app on our phone. So before we get too far into the watch, we need to open up our phone and download and install the Garmin Connect app. So it should look like this regardless of your app store and check the description. I'll have direct links down there for Android phones and iPhones so you can quickly get the Garmin Connect app. Once you get the app installed, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you're going to need to do is either log in or create an account. So go ahead and do that. Now that we have the Garmin Connect app installed, on your watch, go ahead and select the start or stop button to confirm we want to pair with our phone. Now we can go back to our phone and if the Garmin Forerunner 255 doesn't automatically come up, what we want to do is go down in the bottom menu, select more, scroll all the way down and select Garmin devices. And then as you can see right here, just select add device. It will then start looking for our watch where it should automatically find it right there. If it doesn't, you can go to I have a different device and find it manually. But with the watch in pairing mode like this, it should just come up and you can select connect. Now your watch will start displaying a six digit code. Go ahead and enter that into the app. You may receive some permission requests. Allow those if you're fine with those. They just allow you to use the features on the watch. So I'm gonna select allow. If you have multiple Garmin watches, if you want to set your new Garmin Forerunner 255 as your main activity tracker, just select replace right here. So now it'll start syncing the watch with the app and making sure that it has the latest updates and that it is connected to your phone. Once it's done, it'll give you the check mark and you can hit next. And we can now go through setting up some of our preferences for the watch. The first being our typical sleep time. This helps the watch not only determine when you're sleeping, but you also have the ability to disable notifications so they don't wake you up or disturb you while you're sleeping. So set your typical sleep time, and then if you don't want to receive notifications during that time, select no, and then next. After that, we can determine how the watch sets goals for your steps, floor climbing, things like that. By default, the watch will set these automatically, but you can edit those by selecting edit my goals now and go through and change those goals manually. I'm just gonna select skip so that it automatically term determines those goals based on my activity. Once we've done that, we can perform our first sync of the watch. So select sync now, and then it will go through and performs those steps. And now we have set up our Garmin Forerunner 255. You can go through some of the steps on the app to learn more about how to use different features available on this watch, but you can also check the description because I'll have several tutorials down there in a playlist so you can learn how to use all the different features on your Garmin Forerunner 255. All right, so that's how you set up the Garmin Forerunner 255. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 255 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.